If you're anything like old Raya, the holidays can put a hurtin' on your budget. Between Christmas gifts, personal gifts, stocking stuffers, and sales galore, it's easy to find yourself going into debt during the holidays. Trust me, I was there. Black Friday was my time to buy gifts for myself. I would buy other people gifts too, but not gonna lie to you, I shopped quite a bit for myself. I want you to learn from my mistakes. In this episode, I'm sharing six reasons not to go into debt during the holidays. It can be exhilarating to get caught up in the shopping swirl, but if it's not under control, it'll add up quickly. So the first reason not to go into debt during the holidays is because your friends and family wouldn't want you to. Let's be real with ourselves here. You know your friends and family and partner and all the people, and hopefully yourself, you know they wouldn't want you to go into debt just for them. And if they do, that's another problem that needs to be addressed. So why do you find yourself going into debt every holiday season because of gift giving? Is it because you're using friends and family as a justification for your spending? Um, And I am not being judgmental here. That was the case for me. I use the holiday spending season to justify buying stuff for myself. So is that the case for you? Or is it because you want people to think better of you based on the gifts you give? It can be painful to get to the root of overspending, even if it's on other people. We get a thrill from spending money and we make it okay to do when it's for other people. However, that is not conducive to a successful financial future. The reality is your friends and family, your partner, and hopefully yourself wouldn't want you to take on debt just to shop for them. So when you accept what's really happening, you can start making changes. Just know that your family and friends would rather you be financially free than falling behind just to buy them gifts for a holiday season that comes around every year. Another reason not to go into debt during the holidays is because you don't wanna start the new year behind or further behind. It can be very easy to use Christmas as the last shebang, the last time to go all out with your spending before you start fresh with your money goals for the new year. Don't do it. Not only does this hurt your budget in the present, but it puts you further behind when the new year does come. When you take the time to assess the financial damage, nine times out of 10, that wound is pretty heavy. So avoid going into debt during the holidays so that you can start the new year off on the right note. And maybe the new year isn't a big fresh start time for you. I'm a Virgo, so like, The new year is the ultimate fresh start. And once again, I, just like I'm telling you not to use Christmas as the last shebang, that's what I used to do. Well, I'm gonna, you know, I got a week before the new year starts, so let me just get all my spending in now and then I'll, you know, start fresh. Don't do that. When you do that, you're starting fresh further behind. Start the new year off already being in a better place. I work with so many clients that just need a simple tweak in mindset for it to click. And justifying bad behavior in preparation for a fresh start is one of the worst things you can do for future progress. And let me just say, this doesn't just apply to money. The same goes with your diet. Eating everything in sight before the new year makes it so much harder to get motivated when the new year does come. Start doing what you're supposed to do before the new year comes and you'll make continuing that progress that much easier. The next reason not to go into debt during the holidays is because the holidays aren't worth it. Now, before you have a chance to argue with me, let's just take a step back. The holidays come around every single year, like clockwork, the same day every single year. So that means you have plenty of holiday seasons, God willing, to show people that you care about them. You don't need to go into debt this holiday season or any holiday season 
because there will always be more. And I know we don't know the future. Anything could happen. We could die tomorrow. But hopefully, God willing, that is not the case. So there will be plenty of future opportunities for you to show the people you love that you care about them with gifts and things like that. It's not worth putting your present self in a financial bind when you can make amends the following year. And if I'm being honest, holidays aside, it's hard for me to think of anything that's actually worth going into debt for just to take advantage of the spending. So when you get out of the mode that you need to buy so many things during the holidays, you can see the bigger picture. There will be plenty of chances to make the most of the holidays and still come out on top financially. Also, there are always other ways of showing people you care that don't involve spending money. As you see a cute gift or appreciation idea over the course of your day, add them to a list on your phone and refer back to it when it's time to celebrate someone. So throughout the year, maybe just make note of things that remind you of someone you care about or very cute gift ideas or recognition ideas or appreciation ideas. And when the holiday time or birthdays come around, Look at that list and, you know, leverage that as your form of of gift giving and planning. The next reason not to go into debt during the holidays is because the cycle just needs to be broken. If every year you got into debt or even further into debt during the holidays, that cycle needs to be broken starting this year. When you realize the holidays aren't worth going into debt for and there will always be another holiday season next year, you can start facing the facts. You can get out of the fantasy land you've been living in every holiday season that leaves you with more debt. And if you can't break the cycle now with the money you make now, how do you plan to do it when you make more money? It only makes sense that you'll spend more money and accumulate more debt because you haven't fixed the true issue. I want you to make conscious efforts to break the cycle now and you'll see how you can actually master holiday season spending. Also, we're getting to that age where we have kids or there are kids and children in our life. If you have kids and they watch you go into debt for the holidays, what message are you sending them? Would you want your children reliving the same cycle? Just some food for thought. I personally don't have kids yet and I don't know what the future holds, but I definitely recognize with the children in my life that they pay attention to what their parents do. So if I am, you know, making extravagant Christmases every year with lavish gifts and it's putting me in a financial bind, I don't want them doing that themselves because that's what they know. So just something to think about. I know we're close to the holidays this year, but one thing you can do to break the cycle is saving money for the holidays ahead of time. So maybe this is something you work to implement next year, but, or even, you know what, take action now. In the next day or two, open a savings account just for holiday spending. Whether we can start saving for this year's holiday season or not, That's besides the point. Let's get the savings account opened and start saving for the holidays for next year. I want you to work towards adding money into that account regularly throughout the year so that you have a good amount saved come next holiday season. So this is actually a sinking fund, right? A a sinking fund is a savings account tied to a specific thing that we spend money on on a consistent basis. So the holidays being one of them, if you open up a savings account now, and even if it's $25, $50 a month that you put into that account, by the time the next holiday season comes around, you'll have a nice chunk of change that you can actually use for your holiday spending. That will definitely help your budget and help you avoid going into even more debt. The next reason not to go into debt during the holidays is because you can create your own money narrative. Now, I probably should have said this earlier, but it's okay, I'm saying it now. 
There's nothing wrong with buying gifts for the people in your life. I do want to make that clear. There's nothing wrong with showing the people you love that you care about them with gifts. What's important to keep in mind, though, is that you don't have to put yourself in a worse financial position to celebrate the people in your life. Kind of going back to the earlier tip, the people who care about you and the people you care about probably don't want you to be worse off celebrating them. Hopefully, they know how much you care. So when it comes to the holidays and spending, you get to create your own narrative. You can decide what your money narrative is for the holidays. You don't have to do what society pushes, which is overconsumption. Just because everyone else is doing it doesn't mean you have to. You get a say in what you want holiday spending to be like for you and for the people who follow you, you know, your family, the the kids that you have. So again, I'm not saying you shouldn't consume. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy things for the people you love. Just make sure you're in control and making the best decisions in general. Okay. The final reason not to go into debt during the holidays is because you need to start putting your well-being first, okay? So the final reason not to go into debt during the holidays is you. You are the reason. Your own well-being is the reason. A life of debt is not a quality life. A life of overconsumption and accumulation of non-necessities is not a quality life. Start putting your needs first. You don't need to go into debt to show someone else you care about them. You don't need to go into debt to get this thing that you've wanted just because it's on sale. Those people who care about you will want you to succeed anyways. And You can always get that thing later. You can always get that thing when it doesn't put you in a worse financial position. So think about your own financial future and do things that will put you in the best position possible. And that definitely means controlling your spending during the holidays. Take it from me. Nothing is worth adding on to your debt. And the holidays are included in that. Like I said earlier, there will be plenty more holiday seasons for you to treat the ones you love the right way. And that right way means not accruing debt, not accumulating debt. So do your best to budget and stick to your limits when it comes to the holidays and your spending. I promise you it's absolutely worth it.